Hey guys, I just received my $2,000 rebate check from the Clean Vehicle Rebate Program and I'm super happy about it. In this video, I'll walk you through the application process, the requirements, and the eligibility. This is going to be a super dry video. I'll try to make it quick, so bear with me. This rebate is exclusive to California residents, but I'm sure other states have similar programs. Applying for it is an absolute pain in the neck, but at the end of the day, it's worth it because this is one of the few rebates that Tesla vehicles still qualify for as the federal tax credit is no longer available because Tesla already has met its quota of 200,000 cars sold in the United States. Do not confuse this rebate with the $1,500 that you get from the California Clean Fuel Reward. That one is automatic and is entered by the retailer, not you. Let me know in the comments where you are located and if your home state offers any similar rebates and for how much. We took delivery of our Model Y over four months ago and I remember applying for this rebate like the second day after the delivery and it took over 12 weeks to get the check so it takes a very long time and for people who apply for it after April 23rd of this year have been put on another waiting list until the state funding is secured so if you did apply after that date expect even worse delays. The amount of money for which you are eligible for depends on the type of vehicle for example Hydrogen fuel cell vehicles like the Toyota Mirai qualify for up to $4,500. Electric vehicles like your Tesla qualifies for $2,000. And plug-in hybrid vehicles qualify for up to $1,000. If your household income is less than or equal to 400% of the federal poverty level, you may qualify for even a higher rebate. So you may want to check the Clean Vehicle Rebate website for complete details. Now I'm going to go over applicant eligibility and I'm only going to talk about private party vehicle ownership, not companies, just to keep it simple. To qualify, you must be a California resident at the time of the vehicle is purchased or leased. You must submit the application before funds are exhausted. And this is a tricky one. You must submit your application within three months of the purchase date, but you must complete the submission of all pertinent documentation within the first 14 days of your original application otherwise your application will be rejected you'll need to reapply and you'll be sent to the end of the line you also must meet the income eligibility which is for single filers $150,000 in yearly income $204,000 for head of household filers and $300,000 for joint filers which is our case we had to submit our w-2 forms but don't worry about it because they're heavily redacted you're only supposed to show your employer your name and your income everything else is blacked out at their request and only a portion of applicants are selected for the income verification so you may not even have to do this step at the time of when you submit your paperwork now i'm going to tell you how to apply for the rebate submit your application online when you do that the project administrator will reserve the funds for your rebate so they're secured as i said earlier you have 14 days to submit all the supporting documentation any supporting documents required can be scanned and submitted through the actual cvrp website um, do not send these forms via email. They're going to block these emails. And if you have, if you don't have internet access, you can also send the documents over the mail to an address provided on the CBRP website. They prefer that you submit these forms through their website though. And when I applied, um, I sent the following, a scanned signed copy of the application, uh, proof of registration, the purchase contract, which is included, which included all pages and a copy of my driver's license. Since I was selected for income verification, I had to send copies of our W-2s for 2020. The following is very important. You must keep the car for at least 30 months and the car must be registered in California for at least 30 months from the original purchase. To apply, you must create a profile, create a password and submit both the vehicle and the dealership information. And that's that. After that, it just becomes a waiting game. Um, I made a couple of mistakes initially because Tesla registers the cars uh, for you and in my case I took delivery the day after the registration so when I submitted my application I entered the purchase date as being the delivery date but I had to rectify the purchase date to reflect the actual registration which was a day prior. Getting a hold of them uh, was kind of hard I will have to call them leave a message and then they'll call me back. It sounded like they worked out of their homes and um, some of them were not as friendly as others. Then there was dead silence for about three months until a few days ago when I got an email from them saying that they had approved my rebate and that they had sent a paper check for $2,000 over the mail. Overall, I'm pretty happy that we qualify for this rebate and that we finally got our money. Um, we got combined, we got $3,500 worth of rebates and it's a bummer that Tesla vehicles no longer qualify for the federal tax credit. 
I hope you liked this video and if you found value in it, please hit that like button. And if you haven't done so, please consider subscribing for more related content. Thank you and I'll see you next time.